All right, this is for um, people who are asking me how to install uh, graphic card drivers on uh, Ubuntu. Uh, basically, you have your system up and running. It should pop up uh, something like this, okay? And I'll tell you you want to install the drivers. Now, if this doesn't pop up, you can always go to your, um, you know, your menus and go to System and Administration and look for a hardware driver, right? And you should have something like this, okay? Now, it depends what, what card you have, NVIDIA or ATI. And they give you a few options, right? Like uh, the recommended one. Uh, the newer one's not always the better one. So if the newer one doesn't work out good for you, use the older ones, okay? Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, just click on the one that you want and uh, hit activate. And uh, after that, I'll download it and uh, you have to restart your computer. And um, that's pretty much it, okay? Now, uh, if you have nothing in here, like it's all blank. They don't give you ATI or NVIDIA or anything like that. Uh, the next easiest way to do this is uh, with uh, the add and remove. Okay. Now in the add and remove, make sure it says all available applications, and uh, look for whatever drivers you want, like ATI drivers. Okay. And um, this will be it, ATI binary drivers. Okay. And check on that, and uh, hit apply changes, and it'll install it for you. Uh, same thing if you have. Um, Nvidia. Okay, just search for Nvidia, and there you go. You have uh, Nvidia options here. Uh, see, they have different versions: 173, 71, 77 here. So just check the one that you want. Now, for some reason, they don't have the 180 in here. I I don't know the reason, but uh, they don't have 180. So another way to do this is uh, uh the Synaptic. Okay, because there's a lot of ways that you can install shit on here. But uh, see, the, in here in the Synaptic, they have more stuff in here, and like I said, 180. See, uh, drivers. Um, that's mainly what you have to install if you want the 180. Uh, that's it. And uh, if you want, you have ATI. Just search for um, FGLRX, and uh, pretty much this is the ATI. Uh, install the XOR drivers here, and I believe this one also, and this one, and that's how you get the N Nvidia. Now, if you wanted to do it manually, like you know, in Windows, you have to go hit up Google, uh, download the newest package uh, or the, the newest EXE or whatever, and then you install it manually, right? Uh, you can do that too. Now, if you don't know what card you have, um, I recommend using this uh, program here, Hard Info. Uh, basically, this is um, it's kind of like Everest on um, on Windows. See, uh, this is what it looks like, and I'll tell you what card you have if you don't know it. Okay, so uh, so see if you uh, you don't know what your card you have, they'll tell you here about your hardware that you have. So I have a GeForce uh, 7600 GT, which is Nvidia, you know. So with that in mind, we're gonna go look, you know, in Google or whatever. Just Google go. Um, just Google, um, let me see, ATI Linux drivers or uh, NVIDIA Linux drivers, and I'll take you to the site, okay? Uh, so let's say um, we found the site, right? So ATI, basically, look for, um, you know, what what you're using. I'm using a 64-bit, so that's what I'm going to do. Most people use the 32-bits, which is this. So I'm, I'm using 64. Uh, pick the card that you have. I have a Radeon. I have a... Uh, 3800 series, so this three series here. Uh, click go. Basically, here it is. Uh, ATI Crystal Display Drivers. Um, and hit download. Okay, so they'll they'll give you like a, a run file. Uh, same thing if you want to do with a uh, Nvidia. You know, search for Nvidia drivers. So I have a GeForce um, seven series, right? And a 64 bit or whatever it is you're using, okay. And I hit search, that's it. And in here, it's pretty much kind of like ATI. I mean, um, yeah, ATI, you know, they give you a run file after you download it, right? So you download this run file, and they'll tell you how to, you know, install it. You know, right here it says sh and then the file name, and uh, that's how you would do it. But read up on it if you want to install it manually. 
I don't recommend doing it manually, but uh, if you have to, you have to, you know. So here we go. Um, this is the file, right? You can do this manually with the terminal. So bust out your terminal. Now this is how you do it on uh, the Ubuntu's. So you have to type in sudo because you have to be admin and then sh because that's what they told us to do, right? So sudo sh and then the easiest way is just to drag the file in here and they'll put in the path for you. So and then you hit enter and tell you to type your password. Now this won't work because um, I guess I have the wrong X, X server version or something like that. But uh, uh, this is usually how they would do it. Okay, so that's up to you if you want to try it. Um, for Linux or I mean Linux in general, um, Nvidia is better than ATI um, as far as drivers. I mean ATI drivers are good. I mean cards are good, but uh, the the Linux uh, driver version sucks balls. That's why. Um, I don't recommend ATI for uh, Linux. Okay, Nvidia is the way to go. If you you need to buy a card, uh, go with Nvidia. If you're gonna use the Linux for, like full time. Okay. Uh, so that's that. Now I think someone else asked me about uh, the display. I mean the dual display or something like that. Um, after you install your driver, you should have like some, um, you know, Nvidia settings or ATI settings here, right? In your display setting. Um, just go in there and look for something like uh, I don't know screens or something. I don't have a dual monitor to try, but uh, I would I would think it's in here somewhere. So I would say play around with these these shits, you know, you know, to tell you the layout of uh, your screen. And uh, depends if you have more than one or something. Let me see. I see I only have one, so I can't do nothing. But I would say uh, look in here first if you want to do a dual monitor. And um, Either that, after that, uh, hit up Google or something, and uh, someone should show you how to do this, you know. Or if someone wanted to reply to this video and you have a dual mono setup, um, go ahead, okay. So that's pretty much it. It's not that hard. Uh, this is for Ubuntu. I know in other distributions, they have a separate, okay. So the, the driver is not even in your repositories. Like in, um, I think Fedora, they have like an RPM fusion. It's kind of like the mini Ubuntu's which I just don't get why waste my time just give it to me you know but hey that's that's not that's not the way they do it uh, so just be aware of that you might have to search for repositories or uh, do it manually okay if, if it's not in your repositories already uh, so that's it